what is going on everybody and welcome back today i want to talk about some call of duty black ops cold war specifically the big multiplayer reveal the whole youtube land done had a say i've heard it all so now it's about my turn to give my two cents on the subject you already know what time it is due to the topic of discussion we have some black ops for gameplay in the background so do enjoy that as we get through the discussion that all being said let's go ahead and and jump right into it first and foremost i did watch the reveal and some of the pros aka the activision paid promotion team play the game overall it looked like call of duty nothing truly wowed me this time around of course i am still hyped for the game and have the ultimate edition of the game pre-ordered but to be completely honest it just looked like call of duty this time around moving on the graphics overall look really good the gunplay looked really good as well not perfect but it did look pretty good the legendary gunsmith has returned and the traditional pick 10 system is officially dead with the new call of duty it appears as though they ditched the traditional pick 10 system in favor of more of a mw style when it comes to class setup i really do like that no offense to the traditional pick 10 system i just think that it's dated and it's out of date when it comes to the modern gamers when it comes to playing within the call of duty meta overall i really do like that change and i have no issues with that i did notice the game itself appeared to be more colorful modern warfare was grim gritty when it came to colors and most of the time a lot of the the characters did actually blend into the scenery pretty pretty well but cold war appears to be going in the opposite direction when it comes to the character models it did look bright colorful and fun again i don't really think that's a bad thing in fact i think that's a good thing it plays better it's gonna look really really good on your tv definitely on the new playstation 5 so i don't have any issues with that moving on when it comes to the guns i did see a few iconic guns that will be making a return to the series everyone's favorite the commando aka the seatbelt gun you already know what time it is will be in the game amongst a few others i did see an ak-47 an xm4 etc when they showed the selection of the weapons i did see tabs associated with the weapon classes in the game i saw assault rifle smg tactical rifles and sniper rifles during the reveal however i didn't see shotgun this alludes it might be going back to the shotgun actually being a secondary instead of a primary you already know that that makes me think of the legendary aa 12 days on mw2 beasting on afghan in them caves that's all i'm saying but nevertheless the gun variety overall did look really solid and i'm looking forward to seeing how they play when the beta comes out moving on they changed the presentation when it comes to the attribute of the weapons it now presents in a percentage instead of those bars so I guess that when you play the game it'll be easier to understand how the attachments actually affect the weapon when you add them to the gun small changes gotta love them quick side note they apparently did fix the mini map and now it should function as normal we will see about that when it comes to this call of duty one step forward three steps back furthermore thanks to the wonderful sweats out in YouTube land we now know exactly exactly how the score streaks will work and got a bit of a hint at what it's going to be like in the game if you didn't know the rcxd the streak that no one ever wanted will be making a return and i'll be using it as an example it will potentially cost 600 score to get six hundred score are you mad the remote control bomb 600 i hope that this is a mistake i hope that they tune this because this is not going to go well if the score is generated like it is now this is going to be a rough year when it comes to getting the high streaks the chopper gunner was listed at 6,000 score to get imagine this if capturing a flag gets you let's say 200 score kills may get you 100 score how much of each will you have have to get to get those streaks those high streaks those devastating streaks i understand they're making it a challenge to get but this might be reasonably out of range for a lot of people that just blew my mind when i saw that i was like are you kidding me look at those numbers wow 
it's going to be a good year and it's going to be a competitive year. We all knew that, but this might just be a bit of an oversight when it comes to Treyarch. I have a feeling they might be tuning that a little bit, by the way. During the alpha, they did show eight streaks, so hopefully there's more than that. I really do hope that it's more than that when it comes to the game. Nevertheless, it is going to be one of those years, so go ahead and get your G Fuel now. Go ahead and close the blinds and stay in the house all day because you're going to need it to get anything done when it comes to Cold War. I did hear that when you die in the game, the score streak meter or counter or however they're recording everything doesn't reset. That may be why the numbers are so high. I personally hate this and hope that it isn't true. This seems like another gimmick goal oriented at cutting the nuts off those that are actually good at the game. Let the noobs get beasted, Activision. It's okay. They will learn like the rest of us had to. But I digress. If this is the new meta, then all the streaks are basically support streaks. And I truly do look forward to getting killed randomly by some guy who's 7 and 50 in a corner somewhere that happened to get enough score to get some sort of streak. Like I said, it's going to be one of those years. Moving on, immediately upon release of the alpha to the sweat, aka the pros or the promotional people who actually got access to the game, they found an exploit. I'm talking less than an hour into the release, they immediately found an exploit. And I'm talking about the slide cancel. It is back. The slide cancel BS will be returning to the game. Obviously, they released something saying that they had fixed fixed it after the alpha, but we all know they didn't fix it and it will be in the game when it releases. I have no faith that they took that out. I saw a movement that was strictly ridiculous. I saw invincibility frames and no aim penalty whatsoever when it came to the slide canceling effect. Again, the dev said that they fixed it, though to be completely honest, I don't really believe it. I wouldn't bet on it and I hope that you boys and girls don't bet on it as well. Go ahead and expect that to be in the game. To go along with the no reset upon death when it comes to kill streaks, the slide canceling BS, it has been confirmed that skill-based matchmaking will be making a return in full force when it comes to Cold War. Do you see what I mean when I said that it looks like a standard Call of Duty? They don't listen to the community. They do whatever they want because for some reason we can't resist. I'm still looking forward to the game and we'll be bringing it to the channel nevertheless. However, it's just another Call of Duty at this point. When it comes to zombies and Warzone, they both were confirmed to be returning and continuing with the release of Cold War. So no worries there. If you guys are into that, they will be present when it comes to this year's game. No idea how they're going to be integrated into Warzone, definitely because it's two totally different time zones, but it will be returning. I'm sure it will be epic. Majority of things when it comes to Warzone are pretty epic, so I'm not really worried about that. Zombies, of course, will have its own complete meta universe, as always. New story, new lore the work. It's going to be good. Well, I hope it's going to be good anyway. For all my people out there who actually like to play zombies. I believe that's about it on my end. Overall, I feel like we have some good here when it comes to Cold War, but I also feel like we have plenty of bad if implemented into the game. So we'll see what we get. I will be playing the beta and bringing it to the channel as always on both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 when it releases. So we'll just have to see what we get. That all being said, thank you guys so much for watching please do me that favor and leave a like subscribe if you haven't already leave me a wonderful comment down below and hit the bell for notifications i appreciate all of you watching and i will definitely see you on the next one